It's not meant to harm anybody or any particular group. It's meant to uh, keep a safe shopping environment. No unsupervised teens allowed. And if you're under 18 and thinking of heading to the Cherry Hill Mall tonight, think again. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Natasha Brown. Yuki is off. The Cherry Hill Mall is now an hour two of a parental escort curfew. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan joins us live to explain why the mall and police implemented this one day policy. Cleve. Well, Natasha, Cherry Hill Police say that they've been working with the Cherry Hill Mall for the last six months on this supervision policy and also staffing for tonight. They say it's all about avoiding ugly behavior. If you think the holiday hustle and bustle ends December 25th, think again. Throughout the country, malls see large crowds on the day after Christmas, and sometimes things get out of hand. This cell phone video shows a mob of teens who took over the mall on December 26 in 2017. Police say multiple fights broke out and people started running for fear due to hundreds of unsupervised children and teens running amok in the mall. Last year, the Cherry Hill Mall closed early to avoid a similar situation, and this year they're trying something new. Everyone under 18 must have an adult over 21 escort them through the mall after 4 p.m. So the mall's instituted a parental escort policy. They'll have a mall security officer stationed at every entrance to the mall, and there will be uniformed Cherry Hill police officers in, that loca in those locations as well. Police say they're only doing the policy for one day because based on their emergency call logs from years past, December 26th is when youth activity peaks at the mall. Even though our cameras have been in the mall before, management kept us out today and declined an on-camera interview. They explained the escort policy in a statement saying, we have seen a notable increase in troubling behavior by unaccompanied teens on December 26th, and that is why we implemented this policy for five hours. This is a significant shopping day for both mall retailers and our local shoppers. That's something that the parents need to do. Keep their kids at home or either come to the mall with them. No, I think it's ridiculous, man. There's a lot of kids out here that, you know, some, some parents, you know what I'm saying, they can't come with them. I think it's a great idea because these kids are out of control these days. Now, the Cherry Hill Mall paid for the extra officers. It is not coming out of taxpayer money. And the chief tells me that uh, even though this is a one-night policy, they'll look at what happens through the rest of this week and possibly revise it, maybe expand it next year if they need to. We're live in Cherry Hill. Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you so much. We'll